Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 25 of Going Old School. And in this one, we're going to start out by heading up to Albuquerque. Let's get into it. So if you remember, we're down here in Alamogordo at the UPS. And I didn't sleep yet because we had time on the clock, so... Basically, we are going to come out of UPS and hang a left. Take US 54 North to 380. Seems like that's going to be a pretty easy intersection to hit. And we're going to hang a left on 380 West. To US 25 or I 25 North. I'm going to take a stab and say it's going to be this first one. Anyway, we're going through Socorro. Albuquerque is going to be a mess because I'm hoping it's not like a Bugs Bunny episode where I make a wrong turn. What I have written down is in Albuquerque after the truck stop, take this exit. I guess if we take one before that, it's not the end of the world because this appears to be a frontage road sort of. I'm going to try to hit this exit after the truck stop though. And then a left at the end of the ramp and second right to the Walmart and then it appears it's going to be an immediate right into this Walmart. So that's said. Let's see how bad I screw this one up. Huh? And if you're just joining me on this adventure, where we hook to a set of doubles. So let's do it. And I'm not going to reset my odometer on this one because we still have time. It's a four hour trip up there. And I honestly can't remember how much time we used getting up here in the last episode, but I'll do like I said I was going to do, and I'll probably sleep. Sim Dashboard is telling me that I have 11 hours and 59 minutes left, so I don't know. We'll see once we get up here, I guess. And remember, Ty, you're pulling doubles. I also did some testing, more testing. And I believe, thanks to CAD simulations, once again, coming in clutch. And if you're into the, oh, I can't turn left here. Well, technically I can't turn left here. Okay, let's assess this situation. Okay. Well, let's just uh, try and reverse these doubles up a little bit without getting them all screwed up. Okay, that'll work. And we're going to swing this wide. And we're going to hop back in the cab. Anyway, CAD simulations. Uh, link in the description if you enjoy the A ASMR style videos. And I say that because there's no U-turn, no, no U-turn sign here, so I'm going to pull this number. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is he doesn't talk in his videos, but super high quality. And he does a little bit of everything. 
brings you different trucks, different engine sounds, all sorts of crap. Anyway, he mentioned to me, or asked, if I had tried recording in 3440 by 1440p. And I had not. But I did last night. And if you check out my Facebook gaming page, or you're in the Discord, that test video is posted there. So basically, it's... It's kind of the sweet spot. It allows me to play in the native resolution of the monitor. 5120 by 1440. So super ultra wide, but it's basically a recording in ultra wide. So there will still be... Black bars at the top and bottom but they aren't near as bad. Like, they are super minimal on an iPhone, even. So what that will allow, though, is you guys will get to see more, and it will actually be a little better quality because YouTube reads that as 4K. And I tested it on my 4K TV, and it looks fantastic, so... I don't know when I'm gonna make that change, because like right now, this video, I'm recording and playing in 2560 by 1440 But it's coming soon. This is episode 25. So maybe episode 27 or 28. I don't know, as I'm recording this episode, my... Uh, Amazon says my monitor is supposed to be here by 10 o'clock tonight. And I checked, and it's in Blue Springs, which is about an hour and a half away. Blue Springs, Missouri, that is, not Blue Springs, Texas. What we got going on up here? Coming that way, this guy's having a problem. Hopefully a car doesn't come over this hill because this is dumb. Made it, no harm, no foul. So in my world, I need to get this video done, which is 25 and then hopefully get 26 recorded as well. Either before that new monitor shows up or shortly after. That way it'll give me some time to get that set up and mess with it. Well, not, and by mess with it, I mean get it situated the way I want it. And then all the cable management done, you know. Junction 380. It's honestly a good thing I saw that sign because as I was talking, I didn't really even... pay attention to much else. So yeah, I have that coming today, and actually my, uh, 
my new steering wheel for the Moza base is arriving today as well. I have no idea when I'll get to mess with that though. Because that's an F1 style wheel. So it has way more buttons and knobs than this steering wheel does. And I won't use it for this game, obviously. I'll use it for a set of Corsa. And that's the other thing I need to figure out is if I'm going to start recording that. Or if I'm just going to use that as something on the weekends. And then I need to figure out if I'm going to stream that or not. Not sure. But for those of you that are here for ATS content, don't worry. It's not going anywhere. There's, it's still going to be a video a day coming out. I'm just trying to do something different for me as well, so I'm not just doing this game constantly, because that's what it is right now. And I'm trying to make sure I don't get burned out on this game. So now we're just looking for I-25 North. So yeah, that's a little update on me. Also update on mom, for those of you interested. She is doing well. Uh, she is done with chemo though. because her body can't handle it anymore. So I believe she said she did have three rounds of the hard stuff, and I believe three rounds of the, the lighter doses or whatever. So now we just basically pray that she's in the clear because she did have, it was stage one, so they caught it earlier and er, early enough. And I guess the doctors say her odds of it returning are like 15, 15%. Oh, I need to take this one. Didn't mean to actually come to a complete stop there. So yeah, it's just hoping and praying now. I'm coming over, car. as I'm turning my head there. I'm still going to have to turn it a little bit more. Oh, good lord. And when I turn my head, I don't need to be turning the wheel. But when I 
recording that new resolution, I'm still going to have to uh, turn my head just a little bit more for you guys to see that right mirror. The good thing is I have OBS up on the top monitor, so I'll be able to kind of glance up there as I'm doing this maneuver to make sure. I just glanced over at my SIM dashboard too and I don't think it's in sync because it's still saying I have 11 hours and 59 minutes. Something tells me I need to be paying attention for a big truck stop. Okay, so there is a front edge road. All right. So in Albuquerque, which we're approaching now, Take exit after truck stop. And I want to stay on 25. I could have probably wrote down that 40 interchange as well, but a little late now. And there's the truck stop down there, so I need the next exit. Okay. I think we're okay. Could you hear the confidence in my voice? That appears to be our building right there that we need. So it's 329 now. Yeah, I definitely need to... Take a little nap after we empty out. I do believe that's a Walmart sign over there to the right.
I'm gonna say that was the first. Easy there, Greyhound. check sooner because you know jackass AI cars oh and there's our parking spot how are we doing on the gate all right we got plenty of room So now I'm going to zero out that odometer. 1548. Unload this. Okay, and then let's... Actually, this isn't going to matter because... I need to sleep. However, that is Albuquerque is off the list, which is 37. Very nice. So that's 37. Uh, how late do I want to sleep? All right, so that took what, 10 minutes to unload? We'll just say it's 1600. So we'll sleep for 12 hours for it now. 5 a.m. These places usually start moving, so we'll just do 05. All right, reset that, go back into this. Now we'll do job market, see what is available. Albuquerque, Albuquerque, Roswell. Do we have, did we get Roswell? No, we did not. And is this coming out of, it appears this may be coming out of the same spot. Oh, this would be fun too, El Lobo Ranch. But my mind can't have Roswell as a big dot and us not do it. It just, it's, my brain won't let me handle that. And these others, we actually did get around here. So we have Alamogordo. We have Artesia. We have Carlsbad and we have Hobbs. Yep, let's run this down to Roswell. And I'm going to have to back up. do this. I'm just going to do it out of this camera. I love that duck on the front with the red eyes at night. Alright, focus die. Quit screwing around. Let's go into high reverse and do this a little faster. I really hope it's at this one. It may be at that other one. Nope. 
No. Good. Perfect. What's the trailer options? I don't want a Walmart. Do I pull a shit show logistics fan this time? That's the base game trailer, though. It's given us this Bart Great Dane, so... Too bad it doesn't put my skin on there. Since I have one created for it. You know what, let's just go, we'll pull up. We'll just pull a damn Walmart trailer, that's fine. Roswell, let's take it. All right, now hop back in here, and I would assume it's on the other side of... Okay, work with me, camera. No, it's not. It's over there, okay? Damn, almost hit that trailer. You gotta love these European style placeables here. is we should have it look at that all right good to go trailer's good to go let's figure out how to get there 25 south oh it's gonna be a reverse Although, should we take a different route since we've already been this way? I'm right here. So if I come back out here and take a right, let's do that. Let's do something different. So we want 25 south to 40 east. And then it's going to get interesting. Because then we want US 54 south to 285. That's going to be a T intersection, I believe. A gas station right there and a way station. Oh, probably in another freaking viewpoint, because why not? All right, and then 285. Okay, so this part's easy. So after, I don't even know why I'm writing this part down, but after US 70 interchange, Garage on right, Walmart on left. Perfect. Seems easy enough. So we're going to come out of here, 25 south, 40 east, to 54 south, 285 south, right into Roswell, left after this garage. Do it. This head tracker is moody. Like, if you don't sit in the exact same spot and have your head position exactly where it was, it doesn't seem happy.
Actually, wouldn't have had to cut that that hard because I'm kind of coming out of here at an angle anyway, so. I almost forgot how I got in here for a split second. 5.13 in the morning, that's not bad. We woke up at 5 and got loaded, planned our route. Only took us 13 minutes. That's efficient right there. I totally forgot to pull up the load info. For those that are interested, ooh, TVs, 36,000 pounds.
I feel like we've been on 40 way too long. Nope, just the right amount of time. Is this what I'm supposed to take, though? I guess I'm already committed. What? Oh, okay, I get it. It is what I'm supposed to take. So we're going to have another turn. I impress the hell out of myself sometimes. Sometimes. Not a lot. feeling this was the intersection. Please, AI traffic, don't make me... Don't make me use the dev console. Let's, like, somebody go. I get too frustrated, which it's increasing. I have a feeling the minute I go to the left lane here and try and dodge this, one of two things is going to happen. Either this lane's going to start moving. Okay, see, here we go. Or there would have been a car that was going to turn right into that lane, and I would have ended up in a head-on collision. Love how the blinkers speed up anytime the FPS changes in this game. Oh, perfect. Now I'm going to have to play this number.
sorry folks. Actually, sorry not sorry. for that garage you could buy on the right which will say like truck headquarters or some crap but by then we should see the big ass Walmart set my cruise. Seventy interchange. I'm on a roll.
I didn't see any flashing lights at that spot, so... No. Okay. Okay. Not gonna complain. Boom. Perfecto. Now we don't need to sleep again, but... Roswell, gone. 38 off the list what is that 162 left math in public Cheyenne and Abilene and I'm just kind of checking to see what's been there. Right? Yeah. Clovis, don't have that one yet. 110 miles. Alright, let's do this, folks. Let's just take a nap again. Make it easier. And when I say make it easier, make it easier for me so I remember what the hell I'm doing. We'll sleep till 6. Oh, beautiful sunrise. The hell button did I just hit there? So now let's check the old job market. El Lobo Ranch. I'm getting real tired of hauling box trailers though. I've never been to El Lobo Ranch. I don't even think I was there in my road to 5 million profile. I was in Cattle Creek, but I don't think I ever went to El Lobo Ranch, so I've never even seen that one. Okay, let's take a quick look at the external. There's a Clovis. And there's a flatbed load. Damn. Okay. 17 hours real world time. Alright. Once again, folks, there's options. I don't know what I'm going to do yet because it all depends on how much time I have left today between recording uh, or trying to record between the wife's meetings. But either way, there are options still in New Mexico. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, episode 25 comes to an end. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And don't forget to drop a like on the way out. 
And until the next one, y'all take care.